Coach uh, Yarmer Yager talked about uh, chances that you guys had in the first period, but then you had to kill a lot of penalties and seemed to take away the momentum in this hockey game. Yeah, I mean, uh, I wouldn't say we had a lot of. We only had 12 chances. They had 22. So um, I, I don't. Maybe in the first period we had chances, but after that it was tough getting to their net. And they have nine guys that are up from their American Hockey League team. They either started the American League last year or played some time there this year. And uh, they played a very simple but effective game. And, and we we responded in spurts, but I, I thought you know we would have got to the net a little bit more than we did. It, looking for some secondary scoring in that of the Bugstad line, and it looked like uh, Trocek's line as well uh, had a tough night out, or tough day out. There. Yeah, I mean they've been logging some serious minutes for us, and you know they've been carrying a lot of the load and you know creating a lot of offense. And you know today they they just didn't have it, but it wasn't just them. It's you know it gives us a, it's a good evaluation of where we are as an organization. Um, you know this is a Stanley Cup winning organization, right from the American Hockey League to Pittsburgh team, obviously. Um, I think. We learned a valuable lesson today with how you have to play, and, and we've done it in stretches. We, we just haven't done it consistently, but today was a real good learning experience for all our young guys. How much did Sydney score in those two goals late in the second really suck the air out of you guys? It, you won nothing, you're fighting. Yeah, I didn't, I, honestly, I didn't think it sucked the air out of us at all. I mean, we still, I thought we were playing okay uh, first period. I thought we did a lot of good things, and, you know, we, we just didn't capitalize on the chances that we did. We didn't have a lot of them. Like I said, we only had 12 chances for that Tommy Cruz has got marked on the computer maybe a few more but no I don't think there's much more so he, when you don't get to the net like we didn't get to you're not going to score a lot of goals. Uh, your thoughts about the defensive play? Uh, looked like there's a lot of space. Out there. Yeah, there was. Yeah, that, that was one thing we talked about was having tighter gaps to shut them down the neutral zone. You know, they come through the neutral zone with speed, and you back off. Then they're going to pick you apart near end of the ice, which is what I thought they did a pretty good job of tonight. Level lesson. It's a tough ask. Three elite teams in four nights, Tom. Yeah. And coming into Pittsburgh. Yeah, no, it is. It's no doubt starting at Columbus and the Rangers, and then coming here the Stanley Cup team. But again, we're we're an organization going in the right direction, and you're going to go through some painful days like we did today and then Columbus and that's how you're going to get better so we, we, we have a lot of good pieces it's just we need to reevaluate when the season's over and we got great ownership you know we got unbelievable fans and these are the days that it really feels painful but we're going in the right direction we just got to fix a few things your captain talks about no matter what they're playing for pride and especially for guys like Thornton and Yaga you don't know the yeah. future long ago well absolutely I mean and that's that's this uh the mentality we're going to have to have for the rest of the way here. We're not mathematically eliminated. We're in a hold for sure. Uh, but the whole team's got to play for the goaltender right on out. And Thorty has been an unbelievable guy for this team. And, and we need to finish the season real strong for guys like him, for Yager, for Mac. I mean, Mac's been huge for us this year. Absolutely unbelievable.